For 2019, Acura has changed up the ILX, and you're actually looking at all the major updates. Everything underneath the skin here is basically the same, but this car looks entirely different. So right now, let's go for a drive, and I'll tell you everything you need to know about the 2019 ILX. for the drive though, let's just take a look at the all new styling here on the ILX. Now, the big change is this nose. This is using Acura's Diamond Pentagon grille, which is now across the entire lineup. This was actually the last car in the Acura lineup to adopt this new grille. Now, other than that, there's a whole new front fascia here, new LED fog lights, new headlights, which have seven bulbs in them, and that sculpted hood. And Acura, over the last, you know, even three years, if you look at their 2015 lineup, they've really had a styling renaissance and I would say that the cars before were very pedestrian kind of boring and then of course they went through the Acura beak phase where all the cars had that big kind of nose right on the front this jewel eye headlights combined with the diamond pentagon grill is really understated and classy looking I think and uh, yeah I mean styling is the biggest thing Acura changed but they did do a really nice job now this car we have here is an a spec so it does get some unique wheels, although all the wheels on the ILX models have been redesigned. Now the rear end of this car has been changed up as well. One of the biggest changes is actually that the license plate was redesigned, or moved I should say, from the trunk lid down there to the bumper, just to give you a cleaner look sort of up top. Now this A-Spec model also gets this nice looking spoiler right here which is nice in black, kind of accented against the white car. So what do you guys think of the fresh ILX styling? Let me know in the comments section below whether you think this car is as good looking as I think it is. Now let's take a look at the interior on this ILX, and it hasn't really changed much at all either. So here on this A-Spec model, we have this beautiful red leather, this really nice black suede insert in the seats. They really hug you nicely. Now the other changes in here, Acura still has its two screen set up here in the center console, but the lower screen, which is a touch screen, has apparently been made 30% faster. We'll give that a try when we hop in the car in a second. And then the other change is Acura has made its Acura watch suite of safety features standard on every single ILX. So that includes uh, pre-collision mitigation, lane departure alert, and adaptive cruise control, among a few other safety systems. So even though this is a top trim A-spec model, you no longer have to get the top models to get all of that safety gear. Now let's take a look at all the different ILX trim levels and the equipment that comes with each. So standard on the ILX, you get that Acura Watch suite of safety systems that I mentioned earlier, a power moonroof, LED taillights, 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels, a six speaker audio system, a USB audio interface, Bluetooth, dual zone automatic climate control, a 10 way power driver seat, heated front seats, smart entry and push button start, a leather trim steering wheel, and a multi view rear camera. If you bump up to the ILX Premium, that model comes along with 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels with a pewter finish, on demand multi use display that includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, leather trim sport seats, a four way power passenger seat, blind spot information, rear cross traffic monitor, a seven speaker premium audio system, Sirius XM satellite radio, HD radio, and Acura's Home Link system. Sitting on top of the range is the ILX with the technology package. Now going for that car brings you Acura's navigation system with 3D view, Acura Link real-time traffic with traffic routing, Acura Link connected services, the Acura ELS studio audio system with 10 speakers, and that multi-view rear camera with guidelines. 
The other package we have to talk about is the A-Spec package. Now that can be added to the ILX Premium or Technology and the package brings along those dark styling accents, A-Spec badges, side underbody spoilers, a deck lid spoiler and piano black, 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels in shark gray, leather trim sport seats with those ultra suede inserts, LED fog lights and aluminum sport pedals. Now after looking at all those prices, it is important to note that the starting price of $25.9 before destination is actually $2,200 less than the outgoing ILX model. That same story continues on to the top end of the range as the ILX A-Spec with the technology package is now $3,500 cheaper than the 2018 model. There are some new colors for the 2019 ILX as well. Those include Platinum White Pearl, Canyon Bronze Metallic, Majestic Black Pearl, Performance Red Pearl, and Apex Blue Pearl. And that final color, the blue, is only available on A-Spec models. Okay, so here we are driving the new 2019 ILX. And right off the bat, I have to tell you that drive impressions are embargoed. So I'm not allowed to tell you how this car drives. But in typical TFL fashion, we like to get the video out to you guys first. So uh, yeah, we're still gonna put it out and I just won't mention how it drives. But actually of all the cars we do this with, this one, the drive impressions matter the least because mechanically nothing has changed here. This is still the same ILX it was last year, except for the styling and a few little tweaks. So basically if you go on TFL Car even and look for a review of the old ILX, that will essentially tell you how this new ILX drives as well. The dimensions on this car also have not changed at all. So the length of the ILX comes in at 182.2 inches. The width is 70.6 inches. Overall height is 55.6 inches. And the wheelbase is 105.1 inches long. So mechanically this car hasn't changed, which means it still makes 201 horsepower and 180 pound-feet of torque. And yes, that is the only engine option here on the ILX. And that's probably its biggest downfall, is that there aren't more choices. And at the other brands, uh, specifically the German brands, all of those engines are turbocharged now, where Acura is sticking with naturally aspirated. Looking at fuel economy, the 2019 ILX is rated at 24 miles per gallon in the city, 34 mpg on the highway for a combined rating of 28 miles per gallon. So the other thing I can talk about here is the interior of this car, which hasn't changed, but I don't really think it needed to. This is a nice interior, and most importantly, the seats are quite comfortable. They hug you nice, they, they're pretty soft, the suede in the middle feels nice when you touch it. Um, yeah, you know, it's a funny thing that on the inside of this car, and I think Acura recognized this, they didn't really need to do much. It was actually the outside of the car that needed the most work, and they did a really good job bringing it up to uh, you know a modern design that should last I think a lot longer than the last design did. Looking at interior space, the leg room in the back seat totals 34 inches and the EPA says the cargo volume in the trunk comes in at 12.4 cubic feet. So for infotainment, Acura still has its two screen set up. The top screen is controlled by a knob down here on the center stack, and then the lower screen is actually a touch screen. And Acura does say the touch screen is 30% faster to respond. Now I haven't been in an old ILX lately, so I can't really speak to how slow or fast it was, but I've been poking around on this system right here, like I'm doing right now, and it does respond rather quickly, and I do appreciate that about it. Although this whole two screen setup is a little bit convoluted, it's not the best system. So yes, an all new powertrain would have been nice in this car. Most cars in this segment are turbocharged. Acura is sticking with naturally aspirated power. That might change in the future, but for now, this is the only engine you can get under the hood of the ILX. Now, the truth of the matter though is that in this segment, entry-level luxury, I think style and presence are probably the most important purchasing factor. And when you look at that area, Acura knocked it out of the park. Compared to that old ILX, this car has gone from busted and frumpy to new hotness. Now, as always, guys, go hit subscribe, come back to TFL Car for the latest news views and real-world reviews. See ya.